guys. So, um, if a parent is perhaps suspecting that their child might have asthma, um, you know, especially perhaps in a small child, you know, what are some signs that they should be looking for? Well, you know, we always hear about children wheezing, but the fact is most parents actually can't hear wheezing. They actually see the child coughing. And so generally what you'll see is you'll see the child get a little breathless sooner than the other kids around. Um, he'll be coughing, coughing with exercise. Coughing in the middle of the night is a key trigger. And it's not a junky, gurgly cough like you get when you have a, a stuffy nose, but this is a dry, hacking cough sometimes said to be spasmodic, so it seems to generate itself over and over again. Um, kids will sometimes grab their chest a little bit, telling you that they feel a little uncomfortable. One of the other triggers as well is to, it, or one of the other signs is that children will oftentimes have colds that go on a lot longer than their other friends. So colds that last longer than about 10 to, to 12 days may be a sign that they have asthma. And if a parent is perhaps suspecting that their child has asthma, maybe they've seen them coughing, um, the, co the colds have been lingering, and they are going to take their child into a pediatrician with questions, what are some things that they can do to get the most out of that visit? Well, the most important thing that parents can do is really give a good timeline and a good history of what's going on. We use all that information to determine is it just a cold or is there something else? Knowing if the family history is there for significant allergies or asthma or eczema. Um, all three of those, allergies, eczema, and, and asthma, combine together. So oftentimes there's a strong family history of eczema or allergies, which leads the child to be at a greater risk for asthma. Having their uh, ideas of, of what the child's typical routine is and where the exposures could be. Uh, and being most like uh, most importantly, being honest. So when asking questions about smoking or using fireplaces, and and do you smoke inside or outside? Being very honest with those that gives us the greatest chance of helping the child.